हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मेकैनिकल डिजाइन हाँ प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मेकैनिकल डिजाइन एंड एन सी कैटिया सॉलिड वर्क रिलेटेड वीडियोज लेट्स गो टू आवर टॉपिक हेयर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द लीनियर एंड नॉन लीनियर एनालिसिस ऑफ ए ऑफ ए मेटेरियल ओके सो एट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू क्लिक द स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्चर गो फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग डेटा here we are going to the engineering data for to add the polyethylene okay go for the engineering data resources share for the general materials there you can find the polyethylene and just make the plus here then go for the engineering data there you can find the polyethylene just go for the pascal and make it mega pascal and increase its value to e plus 8 why i am going to increase this young's modulus value because i um, want to um, restrict the deformation about the plastic component rather than the structural steel okay so please watch the video until end and subscribe and like my channel and join the telegram group in the description below the link will be in the description below now we are going to uh, we are have to go to the engineering data to project just click here then go for the geometry go for the new design modular so it takes some time to start the design modular please subscribe my channel and uh, here i am going to make different ansys videos please subscribe my channel so here i am going to go for the units that will be the millimeter and for the file that will be the import external geometry and uh, before i have uh, make the assembly one that is the on drawing i am just to import you have to make this drawing uh, to another uh, so cat software just uh, you need to the flash sign then go for the generate uh, it takes some time to um, export that drawing that you have seen this is the export i have just export this drawing here then go for a tick for here then i am going to make the mechanical just go to the modular and you can see the starting mechanical the mechanical workbench is going to start please stick to the video don't skip that because the knowledge is the best power so uh, i will every week i will uh, upload one ansys tutorial videos so please subscribe my channel and join my telegram channel in the description below the link in the description below so please wait at the mechanical workbench is going to on you can see that the mechanical has on just please wait some of the exporting has not been done here this is my model okay at first at first you have to make the two materials okay so the geometry there are the two parts part one this should be the plastic then go for this and um, change its material polyethylene and another part is study st uh, structural steel that is okay then materials and go for the connections and go for the contact region this contact region should be part one and part one okay i have to change some of the things here that is the type will be the frictionless scope mode will be automatic behavior will be asymmetric okay trim uh, formulation will be lagrangian because this is the plastic material so i choose the lagrange a uh, small sliding is on and uh, the normal stiffness will be factored and the st stiffness factor will be 0.1 um stabilizing series then this is okay i think the, i have changed this is the format please note it and subscribe my channel and just uh, note it uh, you have to change uh, for the plastic deformations okay then go for the machine you at the first phase you go for the insert and method that the method and then select the two parts first one and first one 
okay let's go for apply the method will be hexa dominant okay this is the two part i am then change this to method then go for the machine insert face machine the face machine is going to done here okay just click here apply then go for the mesh and just here you have to give the size element size will be 10 millimeter okay done then go for the mesh and click here for the generate mesh and you can see that the mesh has been created here okay done then at at, at first the mesh has been uh, done here okay go for the static structure then you have to at first go for the analysis setting then go for the number of the steps will be three that i am going to make it three iterations okay uh, the current step one step of end time one second uh, auto timing stepping will be on and um, initial step one maximum steps will be hmm, uh, 10 uh, maximum 10 steps will be 10 uh, solver type program control uh, iterative solver type program control uh, solver checking with uh, uh, inertia inertia relief um, weak uh, solver type program control this should be iterative control large definition solver pivot checking now this is program control sub steps and the auto type stepping on this is okay okay then go for the static structure and insert the fixed support the fixed support i am going to give here click here apply done then go for the static structure insert uh, the displacement that what is the displacement that is the displacement before going to the displacement go for the jet or uh, a jet component and go for the here um, hmm, tabular data and that will be the tabular data that one zero I'm going to give for that two is this will be the five five and this will be zero this is for the tabular data that I am give the uh, number of the displacement and just select this face and click here apply I'm go and give this displacement and there will be the jet at the axis this is the fixed and i have give everything then go for the solution insert the uh, deformation total okay if then i have give everything fixed support displacement this is going to be fixed and there the deformation has been done okay and you can see the total deformation the, these will be the linear analysis after that i am going to show the non-linear analysis please don't skip this video please watch till end this will be the very informative then go for the after this go for the solve option and you can see that the solver window has been done and here solution output and here the total deformation has been done if you just see um, here the deformation has been done okay this check here that is the contact um, i have done everything please check everything that is the friction support and go for the deformation if you make animate there you can see that this deformation is going to happen in the iteration the number of the time iteration this uh, in, uh, iteration has been tapping here is the displacement 
there's the minimum displacement that is the maximum displacement okay so this is the deformation solution this is the displacement i have already told you um, here are the de uh, uh, deformation displacement and this is i am just showing how to make it in the linearity the, this is not for the non-linear analysis this is the linear analysis in the deformation i am again show you okay so i am going to show how to do the non-linear please don't skip and so for the non-linearity you have to change some of things so this is okay no problem just cross it okay unexpected okay no problem now we have to go for the engineering data okay uh, for this engineering data you have to select the polyethylene and here just plasticity the another is the multilinear isotropic handling just dra drag and drop here to here go for the multilinear isotropic hardening here are the one the tabular form here tabular form for the zero i have to this will be the mega pascal and i have to give it the 18 okay for the pl non-linear plastic that will be one e plus five for that the value will be 38 this will be 2e plus 5 and this value will be 39 i have to just change the non-linearity and uh, the linearity to non-linearity so i have to change this value okay uh, that will be 40 okay this will uh, i'm giving the these parameters then just cross the engineering data then go for the there is the update needs so go for the updates so please uh, wait some time here the update has been needed click here update all update has been done then go for the model the upstream data needs to be read after when this window is has been on here you can see that this is the non-linear analysis go for the total deformation and click here you can see that there the this deformation has been done if you see one thing that if you see from these portions there will be some gap okay so this is going to be the non-linear analysis for the non-linear analysis 100% uh, recycle or the resize has not been done so this is called the plasticity and in this way the deformation of non-linear an analysis has been done okay so please subscribe my channel for the latest updated videos please comment below uh, about your mentality and please subscribe my channel and join my telegram channel in the comment uh, first comment